guys welcome back it's me nicole also known as call it cole if you are part of the fam welcome back if you are new thanks for stopping by i hope you love it here please subscribe it helps me out a lot also feel free to comment chit chat um click that notification bell as well so as my brother would say let's get into the meat and potatoes of the vlog what's today oh it's monday so this is the beginning of a new vlog per usual you know i'm sitting in this window watching everything and everybody because i'm like a little old lady minus the porch um let me turn her down because y'all can hear a whole more than y'all can probably hear me right now we're still we're in week i had my surgery if you're new Go back and watch the other vlogs you'll catch up but i had my hysterectomy january 11th today so yeah like i'm almost four weeks um post-op so hence the like in real life i still don't have anything to do because i'm not supposed to be doing anything so we still live in our life in t-shirts and pajamas and or sweatpants I just put up a vlog. You guys should go and watch it. Or you should have watched it by now, by the time you see this. It's a, um, it's a clean with me. Not a, I mean, don't go watch and like expecting for no deep clean with um, herbals and earth saving products that I didn't saw out from Trader Joe's or some shit. Because no, we use uh, the regular Lysol, the Pine Saw, the Scrubbing Bubbles. We get it how we live over here. And it wasn't that messy. It was just, you know how when you hadn't cleaned up in a few days, like stuff just starts to pile up. So you just, you got to get rid of it before it turns into an actual mess. That's basically what it was. Um, <laughs> I did just order some groceries. I mean, you know, shout out to Instacart. We love them because I needed some things and I was not going to the store. Now I do need some Sonic Ice. That may be the only thing that gets me out of my house today. However, I got my fave, but now I'm wishing I would've got a red. I'm gonna have to check my stash over here and see if I have a red. And other than foolishness like these chips, um, I plan on making um, turkey burger. So that was basically the whole reason for me even getting the groceries. Anyway, I'll put my groceries away and I'll be back. It. How old am I? 36? At 36, I should probably know the answer to this. And mom, I'm sorry. I don't. How do you know if your eggs are no longer good? Like, I mean, how do you know? Help me, help me, help me. Comment, I'll be done Googled it by the time somebody comment, but. Mm -hmm. Either way, I bought some new ones, but y'all, I'm telling y'all, this hysterectomy, I mean, it's helping my body, but my mind, I'm not really sure. Bought a new carton of eggs, but I'm making turkey burgers. At this point, I'm just glad I remembered the turkey because I damn sure didn't get no buns. But I'm from Magnolia, Arkansas, and guess what? We're going to put it on some lightning bread. And if you don't know what that is, I'm going to need you to go Google. Actually, I'm lying. I don't have white bread. I actually got wheat bread. But we're going to put it on some bread and make it do what it do. All right, y'all. It's that time of the evening. I ate, don't judge me. I ate my Taco Bell leftovers, which is so not good for you, but I was gonna make these um, turkey burgers, but mm, 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 mm. Um, but I am about to put this hookah together, make me a drink. You know, people say the hardest part of their day is figuring out what they're going to eat. I just figuring out what alcoholic beverage I'm going to have for the evening. 
I think we're gonna go with a red blend. That's what I'm feeling like. So, catch up with y'all in a second. No tutorial, but if you really wanna know, like you really wanna know how to do your hookah, there's a, there's a vlog for that. There's actually, it's a tutorial for that. So, you should go and check that one out. However, talking y'all like I know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm about to mix over here. I'm trying to bust on, 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 bust Thoughtful future gift for someone who is a wine drinker. So, my mommy and my daddy, hold on. This is an automatic, let me, let me, let me pretend to be a real YouTuber. This is an automatic wine opener that my parents got me for Christmas. This makes your life so much better. It is just a simple wine opener. But if you open wine, you know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. Like this is the best tutorial I can give you guys. This has like little, yeah, little knives on the inside. So you sit it on here and you just go Look, I'm jacking it up, embarrassing myself. You squeeze it and you just go around the bottle and it basically cuts the top piece off. So now you just have the cork. Are you not gonna, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Whatever, there's a cork there. Okay, wine opener, wine bottle. Gotcha, this. Fuck it up and embarrass myself, but we gonna keep it going. You sit it on here. You press it in there, press the down button. That's it. That's it, guys. It's out. That, that quick. Oh, uh, could you come out? Oh, now look. I inject the cork is supposed to come back out. Oh my God, hold please. Okay, we back, here we go. Bam, now, you ain't, you ain't gotta go buy it. I'm just saying, it's a nice little gift. It's really easy, it's really convenient. And I think it's the best thing since sliced bread, to be honest with you. this vlog leave me a comment and ask me if i actually went and bought some stimulus wine glasses because at this point i i've broken the majority of my glasses i got like two wine glasses but in real life i want stimulus wine glasses but i keep talking myself out of buying them so can somebody please comment and say nicole did you go buy some glasses In other news, it's Carly's birthday this weekend. Happy early birthday, boo. Maybe, no. It's gonna be late birthday by the time you see this because 
probably gonna bring you guys along with me this weekend for the festivities. But more importantly, we gotta pick out an outfit to wear. At least for Friday, because Friday she wants to go to dinner and then she wants to go hang out. And whatever we wear, it's gotta be appropriate for dinner and what we're doing afterwards. And we're in Houston where it's normally at least 60 to 70 degrees every day but this one weekend when we actually want to do something yeah it's supposed to be cold like real cold and anybody that know me know i do not do cold i sit on my couch with an entire heated throw let me find something um on amazon let me find a heated blanket that run off some type of battery it's going with me this weekend anyway Back to what I was saying. See how I get sidetracked? This is why people ask me, some people have asked me, why am I like doing the YouTube thing? It's because I'm already sitting here talking, having these conversations in my head with self. Why not have an outlet? Like some people journal. I've never been a journaling type person. For me, it's like the same thing, except with a camera. And I actually enjoy the editing process of like cutting it up, piecing it together, putting the little quirks into it, finding the music to put to it. I enjoy that. Like I'm one of those people who, you know, it, most people have a hobby or something of the sort that they enjoy doing. I'm a nurse. I go to work. I work a lot of days. I keep people alive and I come home. It's not a lot of fun in that. In addition to you got all of these restrictions and they're little restrictions that a lot of people don't think about but as a nurse we know it's like little stuff that we can't do you're not supposed to do whatever um so i just i started doing it to just have like an outlet to get it out of my head to not sit here be having a conversation with self about self and welcome back guys it is a new day what is today Tuesday, I think. And I'm Girl, here. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Look, help me, Jesus, help me. Oh, and I am here. Look at her. She's already getting sidetracked, and we're not even in the store yet. Me oh, calling, everyone. And we are at the Flora Culture. Anyway, y'all know I'm here for my baby Violet. Gonna try to help her out. I'm trying to bust on, bust on, bust on, bust on, bust on. This is it. This is the perfect pot for my living room. I love it. Is it y'all? Y'all do y'all have a sale going? restaurant and this a lovely lady right here thank you what's your name isabel all right guys isabel at the papacitos on kirby and richmond and richmond come by and say hi thank you i love them they kept you for me i'm back home guys i almost lost you I left you sitting in the chair at the table at Papacito's. I'm so happy the hostess and the other guy. I don't know what the other guy did, but he joined my YouTube. He is number 97. And thank you so much. I appreciate it. But thank you guys. You saved my camera. Um. Anyway, we're back home. And I'm going to make myself some coffee. And we are going to, <laughs> we are going to put our weekly bouquet together and then 
guys we got a plan we got a plan and we got soil i don't really know what's gonna happen but we're gonna try to put the plant in the pot and not kill it so let me make my coffee Retriever, just get back in there. Um, so yeah, basically, I shoved all of them in this um base balls, and I'm, I'm I don't know how I feel about it, but they in here. Look, look, I look. <laughs> anyway, this is what we got going. I gotta tweak it a tad bit, but I think they're beautiful. What do you guys think? I just wanted to take a quick second and show you guys my um this is my birthday gift from Ebony and I'm just now actually opening it however it is one of the candle collections from Jackie Ina and if you don't know her she's a very famous youtuber and she came out with her own candle company it is black owned but girl first off the packaging come on let's get with it and the candles like of course she has more candles and these are like the sample candles that's why they're so small but check out the names no we not we not linking i'm gonna need you to get out of grown folks business hey big head you know what it is skin knee dipped that's me dip me anyway okay guys here is my plan and to be honest with you i don't even remember the name of it but I'm going to figure it out in a minute. And I ain't even going to lie. I need time to um, YouTube how to take it out of the little pot that it came in and put it in the pot that I bought. And I'm going to um, unwrap it so you guys can see the plant pot that I actually bought. I don't even know what I bought. No worries. We're going to take the con. She knows all things. And remembers all things. This is what I bought. This is what I have, guys. You know I'm disgusted all together already. Because it's, it's dirt. Make it look so damn easy. Oh, oh, we got action. Mm. Okay, guys. This is the finished product. <laughs> I tickled myself. Um, if you know me, I felt like it was absolutely disgusting playing in dirt. I didn't play in dirt as a child. I didn't like it. It's gritty. I don't do grit. I like the beach, but I don't want the sand in between my toes. I know I'm weird. You don't have to tell me. I'm already a rare. Anyway, this is what we have. And I still have absolutely no idea what to call her. Anyway, she is a, yep, I can't pronounce it, but they're referred to as 
snake plants. So if you want to know the real name, you're going to have to Google snake plants. Give me a second and I'll try to look it up and or I'll put it on the screen because I'm going to jack it up trying to pronounce it. Kind bought us a gift. Here you go. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. They're still Jesus. hot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Guys. See? You got to get you a friend slash co-worker slash neighbor that likes to be in the kitchen. Do y'all know how many goodies this girl brought me? Jesus. Bless the Lord. Do you see the steam? Good morning. It is Thursday, February. Oh, something's on y'all. Let me fix y'all. Can't be out here looking all ratchety rich. Um, Thursday, February. <clears throat> Pardon me. Good morning. <laughs> it is Thursday, February the 11th. And today I am officially four weeks post-op hysterectomy. I feel good. I mean, but you know, it's still early in the day. We are going to go and get a mani, a pedi. We're going to attempt a haircut. And then we're going to take our black ass back home because it's cold. It is 42 degrees and it is raining. If you know me, if you're getting to know me, you know that I'm, I'm cold. I'm always cold. And black people don't like the rain, so there's no reason for me to be out here in these streets. I'm trying to bust on, 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 I'm trying to bust on, 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 When I went in Target, because you know, I'm old and my hysterectomy hysteric took away all my memory. I don't even know if I told y'all what I was going in there for. But it was like three things. And I just spent $121. On what? Only thing in there that I really needed was what I was going to wrap Shaw's, I was going to say Christmas, birthday present in the dye because baby, the grays are back and they're like, hello. Um, I don't know, but anyway, I spent $121 in Target. And. And we ain't got but two bags. See, that's why. That's why I need Drake to stop playing. And come on and find me. And fall in love. And marry me. So I can just have a black car. And then I don't have to sit in my car and think about what I just spent my money on. Into my favorite hookah store. Hi. Been a while. I know. Where you been? You been on vacation or something? No, I've been here. You just been avoiding me, so I was just like, okay. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. What it seems like to me. Mm -mm, never. What is this? I don't understand. Why is it so dark? Oh, it's because my apartment is dark. Anyway, y'all, 
this is how you know you're doing too much and you need to slow down in life. I literally just spent like 10 seconds saying, where is my shoe? Where is my shoe? Mind you, this is what I have in my hand. Where is my, sh where is my other shoe? Do you know, you know what other shoe is? Slow down. <laughs> One time for the birthday bee. Fuck it up for the birthday bee. I can't. I can't. Happy birthday. It's her birthday, guys. Uh, I don't know when y'all gonna see this, but today is February 12th. Celebrate for a real one. Really? This is the line because I don't have for fucking turkey leg hood. Do y'all see this? Bullshit. Do y'all see that? I can't. We live. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? We live. Look alive. From the trap. Y'all. Do y'all see me? Do you see me in all my freshness? Cause she be in my closet. No, 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 no. She a stalker. I got picked up <laughs> on time, hops up in the vehicle, and complete meltdown. Cause this hoe got on basically the same damn thing. And it happens all the fucking time. I'm starting to believe you got a camera in my apartment. That's what they say. You could just ask me what I'm wearing though. Well, then do that. I mean, clearly you stalk it like via camera to see what I'm putting on when you could just ask. Mm -hmm. um, we be twinsies. No, I don't want to be twinsies. twinsies. How the hell am I going to find a man if I'm twinsies and we show grown ass all the time? We can be the bald head twins. I can't. <laughs> That's it. We're done already. <laughs> I'm trying to bust on, 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 bust
tryna bust all, bust all on, bust all, bust all on, bust all, bust all on, bust all on. I'm tryna bust all.